If you want to transfer all the data inside the current microSD card to a bigger one, with or without the MUNN, you are on the right spot, as I will show you how to do it. Let's get started. So this is the source microSD card content. Before doing anything, let's check each partition info by opening the disk management. Find your microSD card volume inside the disk management. In my case, it is drive H. And the file system is XFAT. Now scroll down and find that drive. If you cannot see a 29.2 GB unallocated partition inside this drive, then you don't have the MUNN. So to transfer the data to another microSD card is super easy. We only need to do the copy-paste procedure. You can now close the disk management. Now create a new folder on your computer and name it as you like. Select all the files and folders and drag or copy them into the newly created folder. Remove the source microSD card and insert the target microSD card. Reopen the disk management to see its partition info. I used a 128GB microSD card and the file system is XFAT, so we are good to go. Open the SD card backup folder on your computer. Select all the files and folders, then drag it to the target microSD card. And you have finished transferring all the data from the old microSD card to a new one. This simple method works if you didn't set up the MUNN or have the MUNN as SD files. From this point, you are ready to use the new microSD card on your console. No additional tricks or procedure is needed. If the source microSD card's file system is FAT32, it will be a little tricky, because Windows cannot format any 64GB or more SD card as FAT32. We need to use the third-party tool to get the job done. You cannot use an XFAT formatted microSD card if the console is not supporting it. On the other hand, you can use the FAT32 formatted microSD card on a console that supports the XFAT file system. So you need to choose between formatting the microSD card as FAT32 or updating the console to use an XFAT file system. In this section, let's format the target microSD card as FAT32 using GUI format. Even if you have a FAT32 formatted microSD card, you need to make a backup of it. So create a new folder on your computer and name it as you like. Then drag or copy everything from the source microSD card to the newly created folder. Insert a new or target microSD card and again get into the disk management to see each partition info. And again, in my case, the new microSD card is detected as drive H. But the file system is XFAT. We need to format it as FAT32 using GUI format. Download GUI format. See the link in the description. Open GUI format. Select your microSD card drive. In my case, it is drive H. Now press the start button. If you see this error, please close the file explorer and try again. Now press the start button. And the target microSD card is now has a FAT32 file system. Open the target microSD card, then open the SD card backup folder. Copy everything from the backup folder to the new microSD card. And that's it. You are ready to use the new microSD card on your console. Whenever you want to upgrade the current microSD card to a new one, you must check each partition info by opening the disk management. And again, in my case, the microSD card is detected as drive H. And you can see that there is a 29.2 GB partition. And there is a visible partition, which in my case is FAT32. If you created the MUNN with the red OS, you would have it as XFAT. When you see the 29.2 GB partition, it means there is an MUNN installed as a hidden partition. 
we cannot simply copy-paste everything like the first case. We need to work a little harder to migrate all the data to a new microSD card. For this case, we need a tool called the NX NAND Manager. Download the NX NAND Manager from the link in the description. Again, create a new folder on your computer and name it as you like. Then copy or drag everything to the newly created folder. Now open the NX NAND Manager archive and extract its content into a folder. Open that folder and run the NX NAND Manager. Click File, then select Open Drive. Choose the one that has no drive letter and is 29.2 GB in size. Now we will extract the MU NAND partition as a single file. Select Full Dump. And save the file to anywhere on your computer. I put it on the desktop. You can close the NX NAND Manager for now. Now insert the target microSD card. You can check each partition info using the disk management. It is a 128GB microSD card. We are good to go. Reopen the NX NAND Manager. Click File, Open File, and select the MU NAND file which we have dumped earlier. Click Options, then select MUNN Creation Tool. You have three options. If you want to install the MUNN as a hidden partition, select the first option. If you are going to install it as SD files, select the second option for the AMS or the third one for the Red OS. I suggest using the first option because the SD files option tends to corrupt. Click the microSD card drive, then click Create MUNN. Warning, this process will delete everything inside the microSD card. And now you can close the NX NAND Manager. This is what you see inside the target microSD card. The NX NAND Manager will automatically create the MUMMC and the MU Tando folder. So you can access the same MU NAND from the AMS or the Red OS. Now we need to transfer the data that we backup earlier to the target microSD card. If the visible partition of the source microSD card is XFAT, you must backup these two files to your computer, format the drive as XFAT, then copy back the data. If it is FAT32, you don't have to do anything, because NX NAND Manager will format all XFAT formatted SD cards as FAT32 if you choose to install the MU NAND as a hidden partition. Now let's open the SD card backup folder. From this point, there are two ways to load the MU NAND or the MU MMC. For the first option, let's keep the MU NAND or the MU MMC solely for the AMS. Select all the files and folders from the backup folder except the MU MMC folder and copy it to the target microSD card. Now enter the MUMMC folder, then enter the ER00 folder. Get into the MUMMC folder of the backup folder, then enter the subfolder. Copy the Nintendo folder to the ER00 folder. Now we have to edit the MUMMC.ini file. Get into the MUMMC folder, then open the file with a notepad. We need to edit the Nintendo path, so follow what I did in this video. And don't forget to save it. And you're ready to use the new and upgraded microSD card on your console. If you want to access the MUNN or the MUMMC from the red OS and the blue OS, please follow this guide. Again, select all the files and folders inside the SD card backup folder except the MUMMC folder and copy it to the target microSD card. Open the MU Tendo folder. Then open the MUMMC folder of the backup folder, open the subfolder, and open the Nintendo folder. Copy everything into the MU Tendo folder. Again, we need to edit the MUMMC.ini file. Edit the path so it points to the MU Tendo folder. 
and save it. Now you can access the MUNN or the MUMMC from the blue OS or the red OS. If you open the disk management, you can see that the target microSD card has an MUNN installed as a hidden partition, and the visible partition is now larger than the previous one. So that's how we upgrade the Switch microSD card to a new one. Thanks for watching this video.